So, welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully, everyone's doing well and safe. And yeah, my name is Joe, and we are back again with another Wolf Sonya video. Now, the last time I've done this, um, if you didn't know, it was for Francisco Trinco. Uh, if you want to go watch that, then feel free. It's on the channel right now. Um, and yeah, last time I've done one, uh, it's yeah, this that Trinco deal was just something. Out of, bl out of the blue, just completely out of nowhere, no one was really expecting it and just one morning new new arrival and yeah, it was just out of nowhere, but with this one um, it's it's been a little bit different, it feels like this one's been you know, dragging on for a little bit longer, um, but yeah it is all but confirmed as I'm recording this right now, there's been pictures of Rui in Rome already so he's going to go to Rome and it looks like Jose Sarr is going to be the Wolves player and going to be Wolves' number one goalkeeper for for this season. Um, now, yeah, I think I can't remember exactly the fee, but I think we are getting him for around six point eight, six point six million ish, around that mark. And we are letting Rui go for I think around twelve with with a few add-ons. I believe I'm not I'm not hundred percent too sure, so don't 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 quote me on that. But uh, yeah, Jose Sarr coming in. Uh, obviously, another Portuguese uh, been around the Portuguese squads for for a little bit. Uh, never really been first choice. Been always second, third choice. Um, yeah, from Olympiacos. My opinion on the deal, um, just on the goalkeeper itself. I think I'm I'm not I'm not really you know 100% about it right now. Uh, I'm a bit skeptical about it. I'll be honest. Um, again, I haven't watched him play, so can't judge him too hard. Um, yeah, don't really know what he's about. But, uh, I mean, we're going to have to see, really. I'm going to have to do some research. One thing I have heard from a lot of people is he's he's very good at commanding his area, very good at coming out for crosses and stuff like that, which I think is something that we definitely needed because Rui, you know, for, for as good as his shot-stopping was, and I think Rui's shot-stopping is world-class, one of the best in the Premier League. Um, he was He was... His weakness was... You could say was kicking, um, passing out from the back. You could say was a little bit of a weakness for him, but definitely was commanding his box. Um, like there were so many times where we had balls over the top where he easily could have come and just cleared it out, but he stays he's, he stays at home, stays on his line a lot, and it it did get quite frustrating. Um, but that's one thing I have heard about as I saw that he's very good at coming out and collecting balls, which uh, is always really nice to hear. Um, but yeah, again, I'm still not, I'm still not 100% sure about it. It's a bit of like, it's a bit like, I feel like there's definitely keepers out there that I definitely would have got who are available. For example, my dream goalkeeper sign would be someone like Ariola, uh, a dream sign and very realistic for us to get as well. Whether we, we could actually sign him, but getting him on a loan and then maybe signing him at the end of the season would be, you know, would be a dream signing for me. Um... And honestly, like I'd, I probably would have rather taken someone like an Aaron Ramsdale or something, which I know is probably un, uh, an outrageous statement, but I'm just, just I'm just not 100% convinced by Saar. Um, I've, I mean, look, I'm gonna back him 100% of the way. Of course, I am. Any signing that comes into Wolves, uh, whether I agree with it or not, I'm still gonna back him. Uh, give them the the time that they deserve to to get into the team and uh, gel to the team. So yeah, always gonna give them the chance. But I'm just still a bit. I'm just still a bit sceptical, um, I'll be honest, but again, I've, I've seen a lot of Wolves fans say that this is a very good deal, very good business, and of course, for what, £6 million again, again, another bargain, cheap, cheap signing as well, um, I think, you know, there's, there isn't really much, much risk, uh, and I think he's 28 as well, which for a goalkeeper is, is a very good age to be, and um, yeah, overall, it's it's a decent signing, again, You've heard my opinions. Not, I'm not 100% convinced about it, but you know, we'll we'll see what happens. But yeah, if there's any, if there's any Olympiacos fans, any, any Portuguese fans watching, then let me know in the comments what you think of Jose. Will it be a good signing? Is he worth the 6.6, 6.8 million that we signed him for? Um, and do you think he'll be good enough for for the Premier League? But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Um, again. Now the Euros is finished, there's, there's going to be a lot of things coming about now. A lot of things hotting up. And, um, yeah, there'll be a lot more videos like this. So if you do enjoy this, then make sure you like and subscribe as always. Uh, any other t 
Wolves content, football content you want me to do, then please let me know in the comments. Uh, appreciate all of it. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, again, really appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, Twitter and Instagram are down below. So go follow them as always. Yeah, hope you all stay well and stay safe and I'll see you in the next she one. Calls me day and night.